Oh yes! Oh yes, yes, yes! Don't do this to me, Nomura! Don't do this! Tetsuya Nomura teases Final Fantasy VII Remakes coming in 2019. <gasps> I'm so ready for this era. I'm so ready to be covering stories like this. I'm so ready to get into it. Um, I feel like everything I've been doing on this channel, like the reason I made it, the reason why, the thought of even creating a YouTube channel, it was the day the seven remake, after 10 years of petitioning, they finally showed it, and that's what inspired this channel. It feels like everything I've done, everything I've honed, all the craft that I've practiced, it's all been leading up to this, god damn it. Um, so here we go, guys. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, 7 new remake news. We're going to try to cover it here. It's just there's usually not enough to cover in one video. There's always just one line. There's always just little snippets from either Nomura or Katase. There isn't enough to be a video within itself. Um, but here we go. So this comes from, it's about 20 hours old. This comes from Ambitions for the Next Year comments in Famitsu. So they were asked to make uh, comments about 2019, both these uh, directors. Um, to which Nomura simply used the keyword seven. And the only thing he wrote in his message is, many announcements are coming. I mean, it, it's definite, it's definite. This coincides with the other day when Nomura said that Kingdom Hearts 3, uh, now that that's over, the team can really move over. Like, there's a big bulk of people who can shift over to the seven remake now, including Nomura himself. Um, uh, but I wasn't sure whether that would mean we'd get a lot of news simply because he also added the caveat that the PR department, or I suppose that's for now, the PR department are still at work now. So the fact that once the game comes out, they're also going to be free. That's when we're going to see just a typhoon, a tsunami of seven remake trailers. I feel it, or, or not trailers actually. I, I, I don't mind if they don't go into trailers. Like I'm ready for them to just ease into me slowly i'm ease into it <laughs> ease into it slowly fuck me it. <laughs> oh be gentle with me namora um to ease into the seven remake stuff like gently <laughs> like you don't have to drop loads of trailers what i'm saying is they could really just ramp this up you know leave little snippets here leave little hints here that is coming show us another screenshot or two um no not by itself just with, along with little bits of details about the combat system kind of just titillate us up maybe even just show like tifa's character model show off reds show off kate sith show off literally anyone scarlet president shinra heidegger hojo shit Bugenhagen. i can't even i can't even i feel like i could cry just thinking about it like they could really make this such an excitement uh, exciting release period and then build up to the trailer then drop it uh so that's what Nomura said he's pretty much given away the game that 2000 uh, 2019 we're gonna see a lot of seven uh, stuff uh, meanwhile Katase he wrote big expectations for 2019 um while also noting that production of Final Fantasy VII Remake was going smoothly, while not necessarily speaking about Final Fantasy VII Remake, he also said that they are earnestly at work in order to not disappoint fans. I highly think that Katase has been on uh, Seven Remake religiously. In fact, I, I reckon if we were to look at their booking hours, their company booking hours, I reckon Katase has probably clocked up twice twice what Nomura has. I would not be surprised. That man has been definitely on the forefront of it more. Um, definitely been giving us more information, I think, between the two. Uh, Katase is usually the one who's come out with other bits. Uh, and then the only other stuff that I can find on the Seven Remake at the moment. So, a general waffle that all news articles give, you know. Oh, it was a turn-based game. Now it's going to be action combat. Um, they actually comment on, on that. So, the original version... Actually, who commented? Oh, Nomura. So, Nomura said... The original version had random encounters, and such parts were in the realm of imagination. Um, what I think he means by that is how it, uh, it transitioned into an event. All the combat transitioned into events, into the separate area, and they could be far more insane with it. Just insane with even just the backdrop, and just how ridiculous the monsters uh, could be. So I understand what he means by in the realm of imagination. Uh, but since this title is seamless and you see the path that you're infiltrating, I decided it was necessary for the sake of realism. Mm. Uh, this makes us, uh, a lot of sense since Cloud can really uh, run into someone by chance if he's sneaking around in enemies and fight for them. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Personally, I, I would still. I just love the transition. 
into into combat. I love the old like even if it's not necessary anymore, but we don't need <laughs> we really don't need it. I still think we could have the enemies on a map and still have that transition, even if it's just really quick, seamless, and something that's I don't know it just pops. Because I I, I personally I love altering camera angles in Final Fantasy games. I think that's what I like most about about turn-based, you know, bar the strategy element of it, which of course I love. Um, I, I really just like the way that the camera pans, and that was so iconic in Seven, the way it panned to the characters. Um, and this all just kind of wor worries me about the sake of realism, because I really don't want that. I really don't want that. I, I know what he's saying for combat. Like the, the enemies are going to be on the field. They're going to be on the train. You're going to see them. Um, you're going to be able to interact with them. They're going to do their things like patrolling. And in turn, there's going to be... I don't think we've had confirmation there's going to be a mass amount of sneak mechanics, but there is a cover mechanic of sort. We also do know that there's going to be quick switch functionality between the characters, which I think is by far the most exciting thing I've heard about the combat system. But in terms of realism, I, I hope he's only applying that word to this one instance and scenario because if he's trying to go for that across the board, we're going to see a lot of the wackiness and craziness and, and just the real special details that, that made Seven awesome. We're going to just see them get kind of flattened and ironed out if you're going to be trying to pursue realism, I feel. Because indeed, how does realism work with a lot of the other aspects um, of, say, the combat system, even the game as a whole, like the summons, for example. There is zero, nothing, nil, nada, zit, real or realistic about the summons <laughs> in FF7 whatsoever. Uh, are you going to be trying to make them more toned down, more realistic? Indeed, even just simple things like, like the victory stance at the end of combat. That's one thing I so dearly missed from 15, and I think they should have added it. Um, in fact, I actually, I know they did add it. If you got a certain score, you got a certain jingle. But I, I really need to see Tifa do the old. Look how big my titties are. Just, <laughs> just a clown spinning his sword and, and Barrett just fucking. I need to see Red up on his hind legs. And fuck it, I need to see victory dances. And that's not realistic. Like, come on, <laughs> you're gonna fight some characters that open terrain and just sort of stand there, just. <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. The thing that does kind of still make me excited about it, though, it doesn't. It doesn't. I've got to say, I'm a, I'm a bit of a hypocrite when I come to this because when I first read this, it made me excited. Um, because this then brings to the question the idea of an open world. So far, news regarding this aspect hasn't been confirmed, but fans are hoping that Square Enix will opt for such a massive map to further explore that Midgar has to offer. Okay, sorry, I didn't realise. <coughs> I didn't realise this was just the person writing this, um, their speculation. So Square Enix haven't said that the map is going to be massive. Jesus Christ. Now, that's a Night Sky Prince thumbnail if ever I've seen it. <laughs> oh, that boy's going to take me down with his thumbnails. He's going to take me down. Fucking genius, mate. Um, but okay, so fans are hoping, are opting, Square Enix will opt for a massive map to further explore. Uh, oh, what Midgar has to offer, so I'm bloody Tales of Autism is back again. Um, yeah, no, I agree with that. I really do want Midgar to be more explorable. Uh, I want them to open up more sectors, do more with it than they did before. Uh, I even do want there to be some side questing in there, I've got to say. But it has to be relevant. I don't want to... Just go around and killing 20 hell houses. Well, actually, I do want to kill 20 hell houses because they're going to look amazing and I want them in the game. Uh, but, you know, I don't want to do pointless things like go help old Stiggy Joe down in Sector 7 fucking clean up the dishes in the diner. You know, I, I really want there to be engaging st like story quests and things that are maybe not even... Not even fully fleshed toys, even ones that are just teasers, because one of the other stories we've heard... Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, this is the part where Nomura said, uh, now that he's not working on Kingdom Hearts 3, he's going to be moving over to FS7 next. Um, also, that he'd just been speaking about ideas for the remake's release, uh, sort of how they're going to release it, and that Nomura had just spoken with Katase about it that day. Um, we have a lot of old guys thinking about all kinds of developments that can accompany the remake in some form. If we could maybe do some kind of compilation title 
Um, for now, please wait for Seven's turn. So, yeah, they're, they're thinking about what else they can do. Um, the, this is going to be episodic. There's going to be periods in between. Um, and there's just, based on what we've seen with 15, there is going to be a Seven remake roadmap. Um, they won't call it a roadmap, so it's not going to be the same as 15. It could be a, a road trip journey. Um, but there's definitely going to be a whole structure with this, and they are going to get the compilation involved. I know they are. They're going to get elements from Crisis Core, Dirge of Cerberus, Before Crisis, even probably Advent Children. We've seen at some point either Katase or Nomura mention all of those in some way, or hinting that they're going to be doing other stuff, looking to expand, looking to expand the story, go into things that the original could not. That's a quote. And what did that have to do with what I was just saying? I'm so damn excited, my brain is skipping over. Oh yes, that's it. Um, and that's the kind of thing that I think would really work if you do do the compilation, um, and you kind of do that as a separate DLC. Yes, I smell saying it DLC. Fucking load me up with DLC. Load my butthole full <laughs> with the DLC for Zone Remake. Uh, but just make it really pertinent to the compilation and separate. Like, I really do agree with people that the original should not be too marred with um, you know, stuff from the compilation. Like, I do genuinely think Genesis Rapstos, for example, he, he's one that people talk about a lot. I think if he was in it, it would be way too much of a distraction. It'd be way much of a distraction and a detraction from uh, Sephiroth and every, everything he's doing. You know, maybe you can explore Zack a bit more, Gongaga, but I really think even if you just tease the compilation in the game. So a great example that I was gonna give is like Midgar. For example, imagine if we go around and we're going to each sector and we're doing like these quests and the quest chain just progressively gets bigger and we start going down the rabbit hole um, and we start learning about deep ground or hints of deep ground. You know where the Sviets are? Hojo's got this huge underground lab that's been going under Midgar and we never heard about that in the originals. So even if you get like hints of it um, and even maybe go get to the entrance of it or something and then get some sort of like teaser cut scene. And then that can tee up into some compilation stuff. Or even just like when we go to Gongaga in the game, like throw in maybe even something about Angeal, just little hints of it. Like put Angeal Hewley's house in it. Put his family in there, or, although his, his mother's dead. But you know what I mean? You can even put pictures out there. Just subtle hints. There is, honestly, I, I wish I was on this fucking dev. I really do. I really wish <laughs> I could be a part of this because I am teeming with ideas and i'm sure you guys are too uh so there we go guys expect really exciting stuff in 2019 for the remake i'd love to know some ideas from you let's just discuss it discuss some of the weirdest wackiest coolest most quirky things that you'd love to see in a seven remake um and yeah 2019 i can't wait for kk 3 and news of this it's beginning to look a lot like joy and that's something we haven't had in a while in Final Fantasy, so bring it on, baby. <laughs> Until the next video. Okay, oh, I really need a new outro, that's again. Really old and fucking lame, jeez. Yep. <laughs>